Hi everyone! In this video, we'll walk you through the Smart Pixelator 2.0 app. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, search for it in your App Store and install it now. Make sure to download the Smart Pixelator 2.0 app because the old Smart Pixelator app is not compatible with your new Smart Pixelator 2.0 device. If you do not have a Smart Pixelator 2.0 device, you will not be able to use this app. To find out where you can purchase a Smart Pixelator 2.0 device, visit www.flycatcher.toys. The Smart Pixelator 2.0 app is available for Apple and Android devices. All of our apps are COPPA compliant and safe for use by kids of all ages. The first screen here is the welcome screen. If you already have a Flycatcher account, click the Sign in with Flycatcher ID at the bottom of the screen and follow the instructions to provide your account email address and password. Now continue with setting a new Flycatcher account. Click the I have a Smart Pixelator 2.0 button to start the process. The next screens will guide you on how to add batteries, insert the content cartridge, and turn on the device. Click the next arrow to advance the assembly tutorial screens. You can also skip this tutorial by tapping Skip in the bottom right corner of your screen. Let's move to the next step. Power up the Smart Pixelator 2.0 device. The app communicates with the Smart Pixelator 2.0 device via Bluetooth. To do so, you will need to allow the app to find and connect to nearby devices. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your mobile device and tap Continue. When prompted to allow the app to communicate via Bluetooth, allow it. The app will now search for a Smart Pixelator 2.0 device and will connect to it. If your Bluetooth is turned off or access to Bluetooth wasn't provided, the app will notify you and prompt you on how to continue. Once the app is connected to the Smart Pixelator 2.0 device, you will be prompted to create a Flycatcher ID account. This account will keep your preferences saved. Enter your first name, last name, email address, and a password. You will need to enter the email and password twice to verify there are no mistakes. You may want to have an adult help you with this. We also recommend opting in to receive periodic news from us at Flycatcher. Once you've filled in the required fields, tap Next. You'll now be prompted to answer a simple math problem to make sure you're old enough to use the Smart Pixelator 2.0 app. Then you'll be asked a few more questions about using the device. Answer these questions and tap Next. OK, we're almost done. Now you get to choose an avatar for the user you just set up. Tap Create Account to complete the account creation process. Now the app will download into your mobile device the models from the cartridge you currently have inserted into the Smart Pixelator 2.0 device. This is a one-time process and will only need to be done if you insert a different cartridge. Congrats! You just completed the new user creation process. Let's start having fun with the app. In the center and horizontally laid out on your mobile device, you will see all the types of activities which you can select from using the cartridge you currently have in your Smart Pixelator 2.0 device. To scroll through the activity types, just swipe left or right. Let's take a look at each type of activity starting from the left. The first one on the left is pegs. You can see there are 17 peg activities currently available. Check them out by tapping on the pegs home screen menu. Here you'll see a few things. First, you can see the various PEG activities by swiping through. Also, you can see that each activity calls out an estimated amount of time it takes, the number of trays, and the number of PEGs needed to complete the activity. Let's tap on the Fish PEGs activity. This screen tells you exactly how many Smart Pixel PEGs of each color you will need for this activity. It is recommended that you organize the PEGs and colors before you start creating. Once you have your PEGs ready to go, tap the Start button. The first image you see is the completed activity, in this case, the fish. To start the activity, tap the right arrow button on the app. This shows you the first step, where all the light green pegs should be placed. Tap the right arrow again and you'll see the next step, and the next, and so on. When you reach the last step in an activity, a green checkmark button will appear. Once you complete the activity, tap on it. Tap Continue to close the activity and then tap the Back button to go back to the home screen of the app. The same app logic applies to the Beads category. In the Beads category, you will notice that there are three different levels of difficulty – Beginners, Advanced, and Professional. We strongly advise that new users who are not experienced with bead crafting start with the Beginner category. 
Beginner's bead activities use less than one full bead tray per activity. If you've done beading before, take a look at the advanced bead activities. These activities use the entire bead tray and take about one hour to complete. The last bead category is Professionals. This is for the experienced users. It requires multiple trays and a significant amount of time. Let's go back to the home screen of the app and check out the 3D beads category. Again, you can see the same three levels of difficulty, but note that the 3D beads category, in general, is more advanced than the regular beads category. For each 3D beads activity, the app will also show a step-by-step -step assembly instructions that guide you on how to assemble the iron bead parts in order to create your 3D project. OK, back to the home screen. On the bottom of the home screen, you will see a camera icon. This is where you go to create your own personal activities. Let's tap on the camera icon. Now the first screen you see prompts you to select a layout. In other words, how would you like your activity oriented and how large, how many trays? Notice how the app tells us the estimated amount of time per layout and amount of parts. Please note that if you select the square artwork, you may then select whether you want to work with beads or pegs. For all other layouts, beads will be used since they require multiple trays. You can switch between regular or selfie camera here and select whether to use flash or no flash. Once you're ready, tap the red camera button and take a picture that you want to pixelate. This will take you to the filters and color edit screen. But before we review this screen, Let's go back to the camera screen by pressing the back button. If you want to upload an image from your photo gallery, tap the image icon at the bottom right of the screen. You will be prompted to allow access to your photo library, which you can allow in the settings menu. Select an image from your photo gallery. Once you select an image, you may pan it around or zoom in or out to fit what you want into the preview window. You can also change the layout by tapping the layout button at the bottom left corner and select the desired layout. If you select the square layout, you can also select between pegs or beads. Once you are happy with the result, tap the green checkmark button. In the filters and color edit screen, you can choose your desired output filter and do some manual color corrections. The leftmost filter is a reduced colors filter that limits the number of used colors to 16. These are the same 16 colors that are available in Flycatcher's Beads and Pegs accessory sets. The rightmost filter is a full colors filter. Use this filter if you have compatible 5mm beads with a wider color variety from other vendors. Please note that when using pegs, you are limited to the reduced color filter. You can get more details by tapping the info button. Once you've selected the desired filter, tap the color palette icon to switch to the color edit mode. In this mode, you can manually change pixels color and perform image color corrections. Select a color from the colors ribbon and tap any pixel on the image to color it. You can switch between single pixel or flood fill edit by tapping the fill type icon. Note that you can zoom in or out and pan the image during the color edit process. If you want to revert your changes, you can tap the undo and redo buttons. If you want to save your edited image for later, tap the heart icon. This will allow you to resume your work whenever you want. Once you are happy with the image, tap on the green check mark and you will see the image displayed on your Smart Pixelator 2.0 device. If your image layout includes several trays, you will see an arrow button to progress to the next tray. Let's head back to the home screen and tap on the My Stuff Heart icon. You will see that the image you created is saved here. To project this image again to your Smart Pixelator 2.0 device, simply tap on it. You can also delete saved images by tapping on the pencil icon and then selecting the unwanted images. Tap the red trash can icon to delete the selected images. Finally, let's head back to the home screen and check out the settings menu. To open the settings menu, tap and drag the gear icon to the right. Now let's take a look at the general settings. Here's where you can adjust the volume or entirely disable sounds. You can select whether to allow photo library access in order to create activities from your photo library. You can select if activity tutorials always play at the beginning of every activity and whether to allow use of cellular data when downloading models from the cartridge. The default is to allow this. You can also change the app language by tapping the language you want. Now, under Account, you can tap on Account Settings. Here you can see your account details, 
opt in or out of Flycatcher News emails, log out from your account, and delete your account. Going back from account settings, you can see an option to change your account password if necessary. The last section of the settings menu is support and information. Here you can send us your feedback, which, by the way, we love receiving. You can also check out our privacy policy as well as our terms of service. That's it. You're all set to start playing with your smart Pixelator 2.0 using the new app.